All right guys, here we are with part two of this video. Um, and if you're wondering about all of these weird little uh, primer patches on the wall, it's because I was just trying to get as much primer off of the rolling pad as possible because I didn't have a second one and I'm gonna have to use the same pad for the gray. So I was just trying to get as much paint off of it as I could. But anyway, I am about to cut in with the gray and then I can roll the gray on and I'll be done with painting. All right guys, thank you for coming back for part two of this bathroom declutter and remodel. Um, I am so glad I'm finally getting this video up for you guys. This was filmed two weeks ago, right? I think, yeah, because my niece got here and stayed for almost an entire week. And I filmed this before she got here, and then I just never got around to editing while she was here. Um, so anyway, this is going to be part two, and then there's still a part three, so definitely stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And part three of this is already filmed as well, just FYI. So that will be up on Friday? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm kind of changing my schedule up a little bit just because um, we started back school. So I homeschool my kids. If you are new here, I am a homeschool mom and I don't have tons of time to get videos put up during the school year. And so I usually go down to two videos a week. Um, but throughout the summer, I've been doing three videos a week consistently, and then I just dropped off the face of the planet and have not uploaded in a week. So finally getting this video up for you guys. I really um, wish that I realized how easy it was to just hurry up and edit this and get it up because I could have had it up last week, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to drop that subject because I'm... Um, dwelling on it but anyway so yeah so right now I am just going around and painting all of the edges with the gray which is what I'm painting on the walls and I am paint I'm using um sculptor's clay which is like a grayish it's like a gray beige color um that I get at Home Depot I love this color it's from Bear and I have this in my house a lot too. I just, I love this color. So anyway, I am just painting the walls right now. And then um, I am so excited because after I do the walls, I get to do the floor, which is the most exciting part because I have been dealing with this bathroom floor for way too long. Um, I loved it when it, when I first painted the stencils on my bathroom floor, it looked so good compared to the ugly peel and stick tile that was there when we moved in. Um, but, and honestly it lasted a long time. Like it held up really, really well until we adopted Kiki and we adopt when we adopted Kiki, she's a Chihuahua. She, um, she came from a homeless man. So she belonged to a homeless man who lived in a shelter and then he had to relinquish her. And so when we got her, they told us she was potty trained. Um, she appeared to be, but then we realized that she was trained to pee and poop right in front of the toilet in my master bathroom because that is where she went to the bathroom every single time like right in front of my toilet um and so anyway that ended up um making the paint peel away in that spot and so for years now our paint like the paint on the floor has been peeling up like the paint like the little paint chunks get stuck to the bottom of your feet they get tracked throughout the house every time I mop my bathroom floor there's like paint like rolling up and like getting everywhere like it's just been such a pain in the butt I've been wanting to fix it for so long um and then I finally found this super affordable option to do this temporary floor because we do plan to get the same flooring throughout our entire house, but for now, we're just using like a temporary option. So I literally bought these paint or these um, peel and stick tiles. It was 
I want to say I paid like $40 for my whole bathroom floor, which is like, you can't beat that price. Um, so anyway, I, yeah, anyway, I know it's not the greatest floor, but oh my gosh, I'm so in love with it because I don't see that paint anymore and I don't see the peeling paint and I'm just really happy with it. So Anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to keep painting these walls and then I'm going to get started on the floor. So enjoy. You hear them calling, shouting your name. Turn up the collar and walk away. Feels like you're falling, not who is to blame. Wishing you'd only be more like them Over and over You cry yourself to sleep And you're colder, much colder If only you could see Don't you know that you're beautiful? Right, guys so for the most part this flooring was super easy to do it was just like um, the one I did in my girls bathroom um, but the, the thing is I actually bought this way too long ago I bought it a couple months ago and it sat in my car in the box for like a week and it was really hot that week so it was definitely well over a hundred in my car every day and then I bought eventually moved the box out of my car and onto a bench out by the front door. And I think that was the main mistake. Um, I think it did something to the adhesive on the back of these because they are not sticking well like the ones in my girl's bathroom did. And this is the same brand. So I literally ordered all of that flooring at the same time, the one I did in my girl's bathroom and this one. But when my girls, when when the tile all came, I was ready to use it right away in my girl's bathroom. So it never sat 
and this it stuck really nicely in their bathroom this one it's not sticking good and even now a couple weeks later or is it a week later or two weeks i don't know anyway now even still some of the corners are lifting up and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get some liquid nails or like Gorilla Glue or whatever. Something that goes like in a caulking gun though. And I'm just going to like lift up the ones that aren't sticking and squirt some adhesive on the ground under it and then like lay it back down and like stand on it for a while to get it nice and adhered to the floor. So I am a little bummed about that because it's just kind of, I, I like right now, I'm kind of stressed out about it because I'm like, oh my gosh, if we shower, like water's going to go under some of them or, you know, if um, one of the kids walks in and they're not walking carefully, like they can kick one of the corners up. Like I'm just like super worried about it right now. So I need to go ahead and get some liquid adhesive of some sort and get that um, squirted underneath. So, and then also the ones around the toilet hole were not sticking at all. Like they were not sticking well at all, but I was like, oh, well it's fine because the toilet is going to go on top of them. So it'll hold them down. But once the toilet went down, then they started popping up even more like in the corners because it was like it was like it was weighing down the toilet was weighing down part of the tile but then the rest of the tiles like popping up even more than it was before so it's just a little frustrating but it's all good it's still worth it to spend forty dollars on a bathroom floor and have it look a million times better than what was there before um so i'm still glad i did it and i know it'll be fine once i glue it down but i just wanted to say that because you know, part of me, most of me thinks that's the problem is that it got too hot and it did something to the adhesive. But the other part of me is like, maybe this flooring just isn't as good as the one that I got for my girl's bathroom, even though it's the same brand. I don't know. I just, I'm afraid to like link this and have someone get it and have it do that to them. But I, I will just say, if you do purchase this flooring, any prints of this flooring, like anything with this brand, um, make sure you do not let it get hot. So that's all I want to say. Um, I will still link it in case anyone's interested in trying it. Um, cause like I said, if you like, I wish I would have done this ahead. I wish I would have like done adhesive on the floor during this whole installation process, instead of having to go back, lift some of them up and stuff like that. Um, so if you were to get this floor too, you could always do that. You could always use an adhesive on the ground. Um, so anyway, and the hardest part for me is always the part where I have to measure and cut out certain shapes in order to get it to fit somewhere. So that is why I left all of these pieces for last because all these pieces that are left had to be cut and measured and all of that. And it was, it's a, it's hard for my brain to do that. I don't know why. I don't like doing that. Um, so anyway, there we have it. Jump into the car on a Friday night I want to drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't have a plan and the night is young It doesn't matter what we do There ain't nobody like There ain't nobody like You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours
All right, guys, I took a little break from filming, but this is where it's at right now. I just have that little spot, and then over here, and then, and then I just have that spot right there. That's it. It's looking so good. Although, let me just say, I know, I know this looks cheesy. I know this does not look like wood flooring or <laughs> vinyl planks or anything. You can see that it's clearly squares. Um, that's fine with me. This was cheap and it gives me a nice clean floor and that's what makes me happy. No more seeing a big splotch of peeling paint right here where in front of the toilet. It's just gonna be so nice. I honestly am just so happy. I don't care how corny it looks. I'm really happy with it. All right guys, so I actually ran out of time to keep filming yesterday because I had to go get my niece from the airport. But I ended up finishing the floor and then I put stuff away because I wanted to clean my room. Like out here was just a huge pile of stuff from the bathroom and everything. And so um, I stuffed everything back in the vanity um, that I need to declutter. And then, um, but I like put the rug back in place and I put the toilet paper thing here. Look how good this looks, you guys. And then I finished over here, but I put the trash can and the toilet wand away. So I just um, wanted to be able to get all this bathroom stuff out of my bedroom. So um, hopefully today, um, Rich will be able to put the new toilet in. But this is it so far, the floor. And over here and then um and i just like cleaned the bathroom too i cleaned the mirror sink and counter so that i could put my stuff back on there but anyway so <sighs> let's see what i need to do in here still is declutter and then i also want to comp i want to replace the shower curtain because the bottom of this kept just getting filled with soap scum and nasty and even when I wash it, it comes out that color so it's like stained now. Um, but I want to scrub my shower tile and I think I'm gonna get a tile paint kit and like resurface the shower tile by myself. And I also wanna do it for the counter and guys I I want to mention like this is very much like this is temporary so I don't love how you can tell that these are squares I don't love that but this is so much better than the peeling painted old tile floor like it was so bad so I'm loving this for a temporary fix but after our kitchen is done we're supposed to be replacing the whole floor like the whole entire house will have all one flooring and it'll be the flooring that i did in the front bathroom um okay so anyway i want to resurface the shower and the counter out here the counter is the same tile that's in our shower i hate it with a passion i hate this um, porous sandy feeling tile with the grout that gets nasty and is very hard to clean. And also look, they never like put, the, they never put the sink, they never sealed the sink down. They just left it open. Or maybe it was sealed at one point, I don't know. But that's just, that's not good. So I wanna seal the sink in as well. So yeah, I want to seal the sink in after I get the counter all done. So anyway, thank you guys.